it's time to factor by grouping. This could be one of the hardest things you do while you're in this class. However, if you use your graphing calculator, it may become much easier. We're going to use factoring by grouping to factor quadratic trinomials. Now, as you already know, you need four terms to factor by grouping. So we are going to have to figure out how to put a fourth term in there. That is, what we're going to do is we're going to leave 5x squared the way it is and we're going to leave minus 30 the way it is but what we want to do is we want to separate 19x into two separate terms. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is rewrite our trinomial as 5x squared plus 19x plus negative 30. All right, this is so that we will know what you're about to know, which is that the general way of writing, the general formula, for a quadratic trinomial is ax squared plus bx plus c. So our a number is 5, our b number is 19, and our c number is negative 30. Now that we have those numbers, a, b, and c, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go to y equals, and I'm going to write the following. y1 is a times c over x, and y2 is x plus a times c over x. Now, that's our formula for what we're about to do. I'm going to go to y equals, and if anything is written in here, please cancel it out just by hitting clear. Alright, then come back here, make sure plot 1, plot 2, plot 3 are not highlighted. Make sure your screen looks like this, and then I'm going to do the following. Since my a number is 5 and my b number is negative 30, I am going to type 5 times negative 30 divided by x. Ah, that's not x. Wait a minute. Divided by x. There we go. Then I'm going to come down to y2. I'm going to say x plus 5 times negative 30 divided by x. Now you're going to have to memorize this method, but it will make your life easier. Now what I do is I push the second key and I push the graph key. This brings me up my table of points. Notice the error there on top. Ignore it. What we need to do is look for the B number in column Y2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up a little bit. Ah, there we are. Sometimes you have to look around for it. Here is our B number, 19. These two numbers are the numbers that will uh, permit us to rewrite 19x in two terms. We're going to, in fact, write negative 6x plus 25x. Here I go. I'm going to write 5x squared 
minus 6x plus 25x minus 30. Ta-da! Now notice that negative 6 plus 25 is indeed 19. So I haven't changed the numerical value of this quadratic trinomial. Now I'm going to put parentheses around the first two terms and parentheses around the second two terms, being very careful to leave the plus in the middle. Now I am going to factor the first two terms here, the first set of parentheses, by the GCF. Notice that 5 and 6 are two different numbers. They have different numbers composing them. 5 is 1 times 5 and 6 is 2 times 3. But both terms have x's in them. That's going to be my GCF, x. I pull x out to the front, which will leave me with 5x minus 6 on the inside of the parentheses. Now double check yourself. x times 5x is 5x squared. That was correct. And x times negative 6 is negative 6x. And that was correct. OK. Now I'm going to factor the second two terms, the second set of parentheses, by GCF, and notice that 25 and 30 both have a 5 in them. So I'm going to factor out a 5 to the front. That will leave me with 5x minus 6. Now how do I know that? Let's go backwards. 5 times 5 times x is 25x, and 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. So that works out. I did this accurately. Now notice that the 5x minus 6 matches the 5x minus 6. This actually is one term now, and this is one term now. And so I'm going to factor out 5x minus 6 because they're in both terms. That now becomes the GCF. And what follows is x plus 5. If you can't remember or if it doesn't make sense to use 5x minus 6 as the GCF, just remember you write it down once. And then you write the leftovers, which in this case are x plus this 5 that was pulled out in front of the 5x minus 6 over here. Now, double check this. Make sure that this gives you back what you're looking for. Always check yourself. Never be sure you're correct. I'm going to FOIL this just to make sure I was correct. F-O-I-L. So my first terms are going to be 5x times x, which is 5x squared. My second term is going to be, the, my outside term, is going to be 5x times 5, which is 25x. My inside term is going to be negative 6 times x, which is negative 6x. And my last terms are going to be negative 6 times 5, which is negative 30. And I put plus signs in between the f, o, i, and l terms. Now 25x minus 6x or 25x plus negative 6x is 19x. So my answer is 5x squared plus 19x minus 30. And this is exactly what I started with. So that means that this 
factorization is correct? And my answer will be 5x, parentheses, 5x minus 6, parentheses closed, parentheses opened, x plus 5, parentheses closed. This is the factorization of this. Okay.